Hi my crafties, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good and crafty day. I have another VR for Joanne, the Happy Mail Stamper. Yes, you heard me correctly. Um, this is for her 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So, um, the deadline is November 1st. And all you really have to do is go to her channel, which the link will be in the description box below, and find, well, I'll link her her announcement video and you just have to like that video and comment enter me and you're entered in her giveaway if you want extra points you can do a VR and she said send her something to go in a stamper kit or card making handmade or store-bought one point per item max three so um, I didn't know if that meant that like this is one, or if a set is one. So I went ahead and did sets, and Joanne, you can deduct points or whatever, but anyway, um, I just used the rosettes that Kathy at Cats I'll Create made me for my birthday, and I used the ephemera pack from um, Fairy Sparkle, and they already came all glittered up, so that was really nice. I just wrote the words on there, hello and sparkle. So this one has a fairy and she's in a nest, so I stuck a little birdie on there. Oh, look, the birdie's there too. Um, <laughs> and then she's in a little teacup, and I put a little uh, butterfly there. And then this one has um, flowers and a birdhouse and a bird and butterfly and all kinds of stuff. So that'll go in here, and I just used another rosette. And this is Kathy's bow that I made over here. Um, this is the size of it, regular. And I'm calling it the wonky bow because the tails come, you know, off to both sides. And so, anyway, and then this is another bow on top of it. Um, so what I did was I scanned... Okay, so truth be known, I took her bow and I ripped it apart ever so gently. No bows were harmed in the creating of my pattern. And I traced the pattern and I cut it to create this. Now this looks fine, right? There's nothing wrong with this bow. But when you stick it in the Brother Scanning Cut, it shows you all the imperfections in your cutting skills. <laughs> And I had to clean those up. <laughs> so anyway, when I did that, then I shrunk it down to create the syllabus. So there's the size difference. And I really like the little one. I love the big one, but I really like the little one. So cute. Everything's cuter and miniature, right? So I'm going to move that over there. And the next thing, speaking of bows, um, I hauled this little box from Michael's. It was on sale believe it was Michael's and they're really cute easy to put together no tape needed it's for the wedding favors um, really all you do is it comes flat and you just fold it and the end with the that one goes in first and then the sides go in you just give it a little push and they'll tuck under there and then this last one tucks in there. And if I were doing this for wedding favors, I would probably cut a square in there and reinforce that bottom. But um, that would be just me. So um, I switched over to the Recollections Sugar Plums paper. And I created my little bows and I put little mini pom-poms on there. And those are the fingernail charms from BB Craft. So I will definitely link those below, as well as the BB Craft YouTube program. Um, so I made two of each, pink and the green. So I'll put this back in here. Um, I think I decided that I didn't want the bows to get crushed, so that's why I'm putting them in the box. I'm, I'm hoping this paper box will keep it safe. The thought of it just, okay, cracks me up. It's late. All right, so 
last sip. Still sticking with sugar plums. Um, these are the ornament. Um, so there was a page in the uh, the pack, the paper pad, that had ornaments on it, and I just I this time I cut the hooks off, and I just layered up ephemera and stickers and put some little stars on there and some stickles for the snow and a little on the on the tree so they would sparkle and then this one is just three trees and I see some um, Fabri-Tac I use Fabri-Tac to glue the ribbon to the ornament so again stickles on the tree so that they would sparkle and then there's this one which turned out really cute and um, again it's just a sticker that says Noel and a sticker of Holly and um, since the sticker it the Noel sticker is clear I put clear Nouveau drops over the berries that were there and I think it turned out really cute and the last one is a sticker of the Santa head and I used my stickles to go around and it had looked like it was glitter gold glitter around it but it was paper so you know wasn't quite there and then um, clear stickles diamond I think it's called on the um, Santa fur and then I took my fuzzy yarn and tied a knot and um, tucked the ends under and created a pom-pom but I need to trim off some long threads there. Um, so really cute. And that will go in this bag topper, which, um, or this bag with the bag topper. And um, again, the paper with the cookies. Um, I just scored it here and then used my blade cutter to cut um, around here so that it would pop up and you can see the back. Um, so I just decided to make that one cookie stand out and be pretty and the rest are plain. So that is what I'm sending to Joanne at Happy Meal Stamper along with the cards. So the two cards for her card swap. So um, I'll be sending all this to you tomorrow and um, I hope you will get it soon. So Joanne, congratulations on um, I don't think she's made 1,000 yet, but she's really, really close. So congratulations on the growth of your channel, and um, hopefully you'll hit 1,000 really, really, really soon, and I hope you like everything that I created. And um, I will catch you all in my next video. Until then, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.